What up, y'all? It's your man Wayne Train back with another joint. And you know what tomorrow is, man. It's another Samsung day. You know, they they, they did their initial uh, Samsung event basically a month ago or something like that. Made us wait a little bit longer for the Z Fold 2, which is what I, the only thing I was really concerned about. Tomorrow is the day. The pre order should drop sometime tomorrow. I'm not really sure if they're actually going to hold like some type of event or whatever, but. We should find out basically everything that we need to know about the Z Fold 2 going into the pre-order. But today I just kind of want to talk about our own little speculation. Before we before we get into it, I uh, want to let you know that I am going to be trying to pre-order for that phone. Um, regardless of the price, we already going to, we're going to speculate on what the price is going to be. But, you know, regardless of it, I'm going to try to get it. And uh, we'll get into some more... Um, you know, guesses as to what we can expect from the phone. And yeah, let's go on, let's go and give it to the video. So let's get it. Now, if y'all know where I be, I go by the name Wayne Train. My real name is Dwayne Mims. You can search it up at the top. Might be a little bit easier to find your boy. But we do tech videos, unboxings, all kinds of stuff involving the world of tech. Now, if any of that interests you, please consider subscribing to your boy. Yeah, so the S, not nah, I keep wanting to say S. I love, I'm recording on the S20 Ultra, by the way. I love my S20 Ultra. A lot of people are really hard on it. I love it, so I keep forgetting and confusing it. But the, the Z Fold 2 is what we're talking about today. I haven't really thought about what I wanted to do as far as trading it in, because you know, the price is about to be steep. I'll get into the, you know, what what exactly we can what we can guess or what we can uh, predict that'll be um, a safe guess or whatever. But um, my biggest concerns, I guess, going into you know buying this phone, really has less to do with what you know cameras. A lot of people worry about what we're going to get for cameras and stuff like that. Um, I really just want to be sure that I'm going to have a quality product. Now, there are some people like myself um, that I don't really think that this phone is a prototype anymore. I believe they kind of worked out a lot of a lot of the kinks in the previous Fold model and as well as the Flip. So a lot of people have kind of missed it. Um, they have a Flip, a 5G Flip now. Um, there really wasn't any design changes from the standard Flip, Z Flip. So we got a 5G Z Flip that kind of snuck out. In my opinion, I don't, I don't like it. Just it was just out there, and I think that you know, in combination with what they did on the first fold and their new hinge design that they have in the Flip, they basically the the Z Fold 2 has adopted that. It, ado it adopted the name as well. It also adopted everything that the, the Z Flip has with the hinge mechanism and the technology with this, hinge, with this hinge. So a lot of people from what I've seen that have the Z Flip haven't really had many issues with the hinge. Um, it's not given out on them. It's rated pretty high for open and closing and all that stuff. It's nothing like my, my, uh, my razor over here. Um, it's not in beat up shape or nothing, but the hinge technology on this you know samsung in my opinion has basically took what the idea of a foldable is and you know they just they own it now so when you think foldable a lot of people are going to think samsung now even with the razor out and we know what the razor meant to um tech history but anyway i'm getting off on a tangent but the galaxy z fold 2 in my opinion that's all i really well all i really want from that phone is to have um, a sturdy design, a sturdy um, like feel. Like I don't want it to feel cheap or anything like that, which I don't think would be the case. Um, but that's my biggest, you know, concern. Cameras, we'll talk like about that right now. Like, um, I'm not mad at like like if they were. Let's just say that they put what we have. They won't because I know that's not what it's going to be, but. Let's say they have somewhat of a similar setup as it was in the S20 Ultra. I'm not mad at the S20 Ultra. Yeah, they had some, they they still have some video, you know, out of focus issues or whatever, but I'm recording on it right now. You let me know, be the judge as to what, you know, I'm, I'm gonna get out the video frame, I think. I'm gonna pop back in. 
y'all let me know if you know things are out of focus i'm just gonna i'm gonna roll with it but honestly i, I think they fixed a lot of them i'm pretty happy with the video quality for the most part on s20 ultra now so if they threw some of that stuff into the uh the z fold i'm not mad at it i'm expecting more cameras the cameras to be a lot in line with the standard s20 line um s20 s20 plus those phones i think the cameras are going to be in that room um another spec that i didn't speak of earlier that i'm kind of concerned about is battery life uh, i don't know what the I, I don't know any numbers but based on like the previous fold um i think it could have used a bigger battery um for what we're talking about three screens for the most part you got the one in the front and it's bigger on this phone on this phone now and you got the fold which basically is two screens if you look at it like um well it's one you know it's one but in my mind it feels like it's two because of the way the phone's made up but you have one big screen and one smaller screen powered like the phone powering all of that um no i don't believe there's any quad hd if i'm not mistaken but um like that's a lot that's a lot that's pretty taxing on the phone so um, a bigger battery should be um, called for with this. I don't. I would, in the realms of I, I, honestly, starting at five thousand milliamps is like that's the low end for me. I think five thousand milliamp. But who knows what they're gonna give? They're probably gonna come out with something like forty five, forty six, something like that. They dropped the battery um, capacity on the Note Twenty Ultra, so who knows what they're gonna do? But. Um, that's one area that I think they need to improve on with this fold too. Uh, next, uh, this honestly, there really is no next. Like I said, this the cameras. You know, people only really care about cameras and battery. And if you got that, you basically have a hit for a device. Um, we already know what we're going to get for Samsung when it comes to features, storage. I don't believe it's going to be an issue. I feel like I believe the base model with this is going to be 256 so you know for 25 25 hold on we'll, we'll get there but um for what an expensive phone what what it's supposedly going to be you i would guess 256 should be the standard so um but basically that's kind of all i'm really hoping for from the from the ah, s again from the z fold 2 um just a nice firm sturdy great design um good feel in the hand it's gonna really feel like a man's phone in my opinion you know i apologize you know man's phone whatever whatever i like the thick hefty feel of a phone it makes me reminiscent of back in the days with the with the the aluminum unibody phones i love those um so just having that nice thick feel of a phone i like it um and what else? Cameras and battery, you know, all that stuff. And that's, that's really all, you know, you can ask for from uh, a phone. Now, lastly, we're gonna talk about is the price. Now, again, there really is no, there is no facts right now. Um, if we're basing it off of last year's model, you know, I believe that came out, came, it, it started at about 2000 um, bucks initially. Um, now, in my mind, I want to say that, you know, the price should come down. Mainly because, you know, we paid the the early adopters, you know, new technology fee with the first device. And the first device was complete trash in terms of how they rolled it out. Um, I, can't, I don't know if there was a lot of issues, but the entire rollout and you know the availability was a big issue like you couldn't just walk into a store and get it um you basically had to be lucky and the whole thing with the with the initial fold the first fold was bad i don't think it would be fair for samsung to come back and then charge us with some crazy ridiculous price of over 2500 or 2500 bucks um in my mind that's what i feel like that's what they're going to try to do 2500 bucks uh, but honestly, the phone fair priced, in my opinion, I feel like is around the eighteen hundred dollar mark. Maybe at the very, very, very most, uh, what we got last year, 
um, for that price. Uh, but, you know, I would like to see some pretty good discounts, you know, with the trade-ins and stuff like that. You know, if I can trade in my S20 Ultra for something really nice, a good price for that, you know, given all the camera issues that we had to deal with early on, you know, just, just make the customers feel like they, um, you know, they're getting a quality product and something that's going to make them feel like they, you know, I ain't got to worry about anything. I'm paying this hefty price up front right now. Can I have this phone be my main baby for years to come? You know, for $2,000, that's not something that you want to just be, you know, spending on a every year, or not even an every other year basis. Um, so if I buy a $2,000 phone, I kind of need that thing to last a long time. So uh, we'll see what happens. Um, tomorrow's the day. So we'll know some, we'll have all the facts tomorrow. Right now we're just speculating, having fun with it. Like I said, I'm expecting around 2000 bucks. Uh, in my mind, I want to say 2,500 though. So it is what it is. But anyway, man, that's all I got for today with the note or the, not said note, with the Z Flip, Z Fold 2, I apologize. And uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. I know that phone, that device is really, you know, it's not a phone that I would ever really suggest any of my, you know, regular customers or consumers, or just regular consumers to be buying. But people love tech, people love having new, people love having anything different. So I can suggest that to anybody. So hit me up in the comments, let me know what you think. Uh, like, subscribe, share, do it up for your boy, for sure. Uh, it's your man Wayne Train. I'm out.